The Arizona State volleyball team is back in action after a shortened offseason as they completed an unorthodox season during the spring due to the pandemic. The Sun Devils are ready and excited to return to the court. I think just gelling together, learning how to play together, learning how to compete. We've done a great job this preseason, you know, in competing and going hard. I mean, I think we had one bad practice in this entire time, so I'm really happy with the way we trained. That training will be put right to the test today. I'm out front of Desert Financial Arena, where Arizona State is hosting the Sun Devil Classic Volleyball Tournament this weekend. ASU is facing off against Texas A&M Corpus Christi, Cal Poly, and number 13, Louisville. The Sun Devils kicked things off on day one with back-to-back -back sweeps against the Islanders and the Mustangs. We got our first look at some of the new faces who helped ASU to victory on Friday. With the departure of middles Megan Beattie and Kennedy Boyd last season, Tomasovic was excited to bring on Beatrice Badini, a junior from Italy who has competed internationally, and Claire Jeter, a sophomore transfer student from Texas A&M. Offensively, this duo was a force to be reckoned with, putting up a combined 29 kills in their first two matches as Sun Devils. For sophomore setter Ella Snyder, life just got a whole lot easier. These hitters are amazing, they know what to do and they have like a plan in action. So um, having hitters like lined up is amazing and I, and I love getting to set all of them and have the options that um, we have. With two quick victories out of the way for the Sun Devils, it was time to face off against the other undefeated squad on the hunt in Tempe, the Louisville Cardinals. The two red hot teams went back and forth, trading sets with the Sun Devils eventually forcing a fifth set off of this Jamie Cox ace. Unfortunately for ASU, this burst of momentum had no effect on Louisville, and the Cardinals were able to get it done, winning that final set 15 to 11. Tough one tonight, but good one for us. You know, I think um, that Louisville is a heck of a team. They've been in Elite Eight last two years, and they have, what, two, three, four super seniors who have a lot of experience there. And um, something that continued from spring is that this team doesn't give up. There's a grit, there's a fight always there, and there's talent. So we'll continue building. Despite the loss, the Sun Devils show that they can hang with some of the top dogs, as they did last season. This next weekend, ASU heads to Nebraska for another non-conference tournament. For Cronkite Sports, this has been Nick Borgia.